A College Preparation Guide 2 Chapter 1 The Ideal College Student Academic Traits Academically Strong Capable Community Involvement Creative, Resourceful, Flexible Does Interesting Independent Research Projects English, Communication, Verbal Skills Articulate Focused High Standardized Test Scores Independence in Thinking Inspired, Motivated, Committed, Self-Directed Intelligent Love of Learning, Curiosity, Enthusiasm Positive View of Life Questions Philosophies, etc. Research and Study Skills Self-Discipline, Including Responsibility Work Ethic, Sense of Purpose Shows inititive. Strong in writing, reading comprehension. Strong skills in area of interest. Uses logical thinking. Well prepared. Well read. Willing to participate in discussions. Other characteristics. Confident, secure. Gets involved on campus. Leadership. Loyal. Mature. No noticeable weaknesses. Politically aware. Smooth adjustment to college. Socially adjusted, fits in. Strength of moral character. Want to do great things. Chapter 2. College Prep Topics. Basic info about choosing a college. There are many institutions of higher learning out there. You can find detailed descriptions in the books at number 378.15-378.73 of the library. LB 2342 for the Library of Congress system that's often used at college libraries. Every library has both a reference and a stacks section section. Check both for books. The best, most current sources are in the reference section. You can sign out the ones in the stacks section. Peterson's annual four-year colleges is a fairly complete, detailed directory and sells for a reasonable price. It lists tuition fees so you can compare different colleges. If it's not at the library, get their free catalog. There's a battle to win this massive market of nearly 3 million students a year. Some other books are Barron's Profile of American Colleges Bear's Guide to Non-Traditional Degrees College Blue Book Fisk Guide to Colleges Insider's Guide to the Colleges James Cass Max Birnbaum's Guide to American Colleges, Harper Collins. Lovejoy's College Guide, Prentice Hall. The Right College. Your best bet is to start off at your local community slash junior college, get either credits or an associate's degree, two years, then transfer to another university. Many universities offer distance learning where you can take courses from home. Refer to the later chapter. Even if you live out of state, the costs for these courses and degrees is generally cheaper than if you go to the university on-site to attend classes. Intercollegiate Studies Institute 800-526-7022 ISI.org Non-profit organization with books about colleges Publicly funded colleges slash private colleges Publicly funded colleges control tuition to keep it at a reasonable fee. Private colleges can charge whatever they want. That's why some private colleges get reputations as colleges for rich kids. State-subsidized, public universities are generally much, much cheaper than all private universities even the religious ones which have to charge high fees to cover their costs although you probably have a better chance for scholarships with them. There are a lot more independent private colleges than state-subsidized ones although the state-subsidized ones are usually the biggest around in terms of size and student population. In my opinion, why go to a private college when you can get just as good an education at a public one both as far as the ability to find a job and as far as a general quality of education. Public schools are probably better than private ones because the government pumps more money into them than the private ones can afford to. The biggest two or three universities in your state are probably public. The cheapest independent university I've seen is the Mormon-affiliated Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. For an exotic choice, the international college charges reasonable rates. 
Your best bet is usually an in-state university because if you go to a university in a state other than where you live, even the state-subsidized ones charge you a much higher out-of-state resident fee than they charge their in-state resident students although you can usually get residency by living there for a year and getting documentation to prove it like driver's licenses, phone bill, etc. If you're really savvy about saving money, you could pick the cheapest government-supported state university in the country, establish residency then go to school there. NICU.edu National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities NICUS.net, the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities Are you ready for college? Take a test for a fee called the College Survival and Success Scale. It will supposedly tell you if you are ready for college. ImpactPublications.com slash colleges or 6 valen d success ssc alloc ssss.aspx there is a free college readiness survey at LansingCatholic.org, College Readiness Survey College Tips slash College One-Liners Most colleges allow you to attend for four semesters before you are required to declare a major. Most colleges have core curriculum requirements for majors where you will have to take classes you might not like that seem unrelated but they are considered foundation courses. It's the college formula. They want you to take math and science classes for almost every major even if they don't seem relevant. Consider online courses while you do other things. If you want to get your degree quickly, don't just take the typical 15 full-time unit load. Take more credits per semester. College is a time to learn about new people. Everybody is kind of insecure at college. Be friendly. Be open to meeting new people. If you are struggling in class, go to your teacher's office hours. Everybody is a little insecure even though most people try to hide it. Try to make friends. Friends help each other get through life. Try to do a job, job shadow, or internship in your field before you commit to it. If you don't know what to do in life, read my job books. If you live in a dorm, leave your door open when you are in to encourage others to drop in and socialize. Friends help each other in all kinds of ways. College Life One-Liners I say don't go to college unless you will study a bona fide skill like physiotherapy or law. The social sciences don't cut it. Most of those degrees are useless for a good job even at the PhD level. Those fields, in my opinion, are a big lie. Live by your own standard. Don't listen to the crowd, other people, even the professors. Many are just average human beings doing a generic teaching job which is not what winners in life do. Winners in life do their own thing. They don't shovel meaningless garbage and call it education. Don't fall for peer pressure just because you feel lonely. Follow your true nature. Don't bug your parents about how hard it is and how lonely you are. It's your life. Live it. Don't move to the ghetto for the cheap rent. Pay a few bucks more to avoid the risk of getting robbed. Tell helicopter parents that you'll be fine. You want them to stay away so you can develop on your own. Many people get homesick. I say get homesick for what, to go back to the same boring place you wanted to leave. Your whole life will be about you alone. Get used to it. Get a good laptop with a tracking device so you can track it if it's stolen. Get an external hard drive and always back everything up on two different external devices, a hard drive and a flash drive. Don't post stupid pictures of yourself getting drunk. My advice is don't get a Facebook profile. Get a website using your name as a domain if possible. I got a free website from weebly.com. College is the land of decent people and the land of creeps just like in the real world. Your fellow college students are potential scumbags just like anywhere. Rapists and thieves target college campuses for prey. I say do the first half of your degree with online courses while working a job then go to college for the last half of your courses. Professors are often overrated egomaniacs. Do what you're told and you should get a good mark without having to suck up. Consider community college to save some money. Don't be racist or act like a bully. Look around the college website and get on their Twitter account so you'll know when things happen like classes are cancelled. 
I think the college dorms for undergrads are big cesspools of immaturity and insecurity. If they offer apartments, get one but try to avoid the dorm where you get a room and a shared bathroom down the hall. The problem is that people feel they can barge in any time and waste two hours of your time. Some people like dorms because you have an automatic social life regardless of whether you want it or not. You can't trust people. Lock your dorm room when you leave. Put security features on your valuables. Once you leave home then go back at Christmas, remember that life goes on. They will have already moved on with you absent. It's no big deal.